Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson in my beginner piano course level one. If you enjoy these videos, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. In this lesson, we're going to learn about fermatas and the simple repeat sign. What is a fermata? You must have seen this before if you've ever looked at sheet music. It's a little sign which is a curved line and there is a little dot in the middle of it. Now many times students confuse the dot for a staccato but it's not a staccato, it is a fermata sign which in English means a long pause. So if you see this above or below a note or a chord, it means you have to hold it longer than its official value. So for example, if um, you see this above a minimum or a half note, which is supposed to be two beats long, you can hold it for three, four beats or even longer. There is no specific time for how long you need to hold it for. It depends on the music. If the music is very slow, then you hold it longer. If it's a faster paced music, then the format is going to be shorter. It also depends on the composer and the era, like Beethoven formatas tend to be longer than Mozart formatas and so on, but this is like very small nuances. What you need to understand is that if you see a fermata, you stop on it and you hold the note a little bit longer than you're supposed to. And the reason why we use these fermatas is to have or create the feeling of an ending or a special effect. Usually it's found at the end of pieces or in the middle of a piece where a section ends and another section begins or for special effect where you want to kind of grab the attention of the listener that something is changing, something happened. We're going to demonstrate this in a little song uh, in a couple of minutes, but I want to talk about the repeat sign as well. So there are many, many repeat signs. And in this video, I wanna talk about the most basic one, which is the simple repeat sign. Now in uh, notation, if we want to play something more than once, we don't need to notate it twice after each other. We can just use repeat signs. And the repeat sign is basically a double a vertical line with a double dot, as you can see on the screen now. We need to use one of these signs at the beginning and at the end of the section that needs to be repeated. So if I have a repeat sign here and one here, the section in between is going to be repeated twice. If you want to repeat it more than twice, you need to write it there uh, three or four times. But the official meaning of the sign is play it twice and then carry on to the next line. Now, as you can see on this little example here, at the very beginning, we don't have a repeat sign. So the rule is, if you are going to repeat something from the beginning, you don't need to put a repeat sign at the very beginning of the piece, just at the end of the repeated section. So for example, if you're repeating bar one to bar four, you only need to put a repeat sign at the end of bar four. And that means that bars one to four have to be played twice. But if I want to repeat bars two to bar four, I have to use a repeat sign at the beginning of bar two and at the end of bar four. So it's very important that at the very beginning of the piece, we don't use a repeat sign, but from bar two onwards, we have to use a repeat sign on both ends of the repeated section. Now, traditionally, when you do a repeat, you wouldn't play it twice exactly the same, even if the notation is exactly the same because obviously we are humans and we are musical creatures so you would vary it a little bit either the dynamics you would make it slightly louder slightly quieter or just change something a little bit so it doesn't sound completely the same now let's have a look at this little example let's play it and let's see how the repeat works and how the fermata sounds at the very end let's have a look at this little example here both hands start in the c position right hand on the middle c left hand on the low c we have three beats and as you can see, the first line is going to be finishing on a fermata and then repeating the first line, playing it again and finishing on the fermata. And then we go on to the second line, play it again, finishing on a fermata and repeating the second line. So we play the first line twice and then play the second line twice. Here it is. Repeat. As you can see, there is also a little bit of dynamics in it just to practice what we learned in the previous lesson. So the first line is quiet, the second line is loud and getting quieter towards the end. 
Now, one thing I forgot to say about the fermata in the intro is that usually when we approach a fermata, we slow down a little bit just before the fermata for the one, two notes before the fermata. So it doesn't seem so abrupt and it feels like something is coming to an end. So as you could hear, I was getting quieter towards the end and also getting a little bit slower as I'm approaching that fermata and then staying longer on that C in the very end. So that's all in this lesson. It's a very short little lesson with two very simple concepts, the fermata and the simple repeat sign. Hopefully now you'll understand when you come across these terms in your piano playing. If you enjoy this lesson, make sure to check out the premium version of this course, which is going to include a free method book, lots of filmed video tutorials for sight reading exercises, technical exercises, performance pieces, and best of all, you're going to get personal feedback from me to make sure your progress is as smooth and efficient as it can get.